I'm Sam Desmarine. I stream full time for CSGO. Um, I used to play professionally and now I do just casting work, streaming and try to stay connected with the scene. I started even before 1.6. My older brother started playing and you know, every time he would leave the computer, I would, I would just hop on and play. We used to play 2v2 on Aztec all the time and like it soon turned into him like just dropping me guns and stuff like that and just me going out and fighting and I'm telling him to like go somewhere else and just you know do whatever and uh, because of that though is like when where I actually got like discovered I guess um, there was like you know main players because back then it was Cal Main and Cal Invite and I'd play against them in 2v2s and they'd be like this kid is so good what the hell because that's like what I did mainly it's like all I did was like 2v2 on Aztec and they'd invite me to like try out and stuff and luckily like Cal week one was Aztec so I was like a god during that time but then I'd play other maps and I would know I have no idea what I was doing and I'd get cut but that's pretty much how it started yeah my mom used to get so pissed because I used to just be so like sporty I used to play I used to be on so many teams like you know every weekend my grandma my mom my dad would just take turns driving me to four or five different games you know Friday Saturday and Sunday that's all I did they were just like you know what's going on all you want to do is play games and I just kind of lost interest in, in the other things and went from being passionate about that and having fun to that to just wanting the game my mom's just like I just want you to be happy you know she's kind of that type of a mom and my dad's so like hands off as long as I was getting C's and no D's or F's like it was fine so it was never like an issue like that they just didn't like you know not socializing as much staying up late they don't understand that you're actually socializing a lot when you're playing games you know when you're playing counter-strike and you're playing with friends and stuff one of the main reasons it's so much fun is because you're playing with other people and you're playing with these people that you build you know relationships with and friendships with when I got into casting it was kind of just out of the blue um, ESL emailed me. They had an opening at the ESL studios. It wasn't something I planned on ever really pursuing or doing. And I just kind of thought, why not? Worst case scenario, I don't do a good job and I don't do it again. Best case scenario, maybe I do like it and maybe it's something I can continue. Um, so I went and I had a really good time and the fans were really responsive to it. Uh, the, there wasn't like much negativity about it, which I was really worried about. And from there on, they asked me if I wanted to you know, finish out the Pro League season, and I accepted. Because I play CS so often, I play against really good people, I think something unique I bring is that, generally speaking, I understand how you should peek certain angles. I understand how you should clear spots. If it's realistic to clear a spot, just using your rifle or off, who's advantageous, if you crouch peek, if you wide peek, how you should push someone off, for instance, if it's even possible with a gun, or if you need to use nades, and things like that. So I think that's something that I bring that probably most people don't, because you really have to play CS. Like, you have to be good to know how to do that stuff and understand that stuff. Everybody's so nice, everybody's so positive. Whenever I go to an event, there's so many people, you know, saying I'm doing a great job. Counter-Strike wasn't as big when I was, you know, playing. Um, so now, now that it's so big and it's so popular and I've been streaming a lot, every time I go, there's so many people where now all these people that are talking to me when I go, to, when I go somewhere, Twitch chat isn't just Twitch chat. Every one of them, like I realize, is like a person, has a face, you know, and it just brings much more of a connection. The CSGO community kind of dictates everything. Um, I wouldn't be here casting or, or doing any events if I wasn't receiving positive reception. That is one thing about, you know, CSGO and like on Reddit and, and things like that. You can voice your opinion, you know, good or bad. If somebody's doing like a bad job, you know, somebody's really messing up, it gets pointed out. And if someone does a good job, it definitely gets pointed out as well. So I, I just really appreciate it, guys. You guys made me want to do this more. It was something that I thought would just be a one-time thing. And now it's something that I really enjoy doing. And I want to regularly pursue um, and just, I mean, it puts a smile on my face. It makes me want to do it. Um, it, and it's just really good to like connect with those people.